Hi there. In this video, we are going to create two websites using the using Drupal's multi-site feature. The multi-site feature helps us create Drupal websites that have the same code base and have different databases, different users, and different content. So in this video, I am going to create two different websites. Their content will be different, and they will be have different modules, different themes. So, let us first, first of all, I'm going to create a subdomain. Well, the first website will be on football clubs and the second one would be this monuments of the world or I would say it's the seven wonders of the world. So, first of all, let us create footballclub.onesuit.com. Okay, it is going to create a folder in our root directory. Okay, this has been created. Uh, another one I'll create it as wonders.pansu.com. It is also going to create a, a folder in our directory. So let us go to our public HTML file directory. Yeah, we can see that we have two folders here. Now I'm going to upload the Drupal file. You can download Drupal file from drupal.org slash downloads. But I already have it downloaded. So I'm going to upload the zip folder. I'm going to drag and drop. Sorry. Yeah. Here it is. Okay, it's 25 MB. I think it may require some time to upload. Uh I'll pause the video until then. Okay, so it is uploaded now. I'll go back. Yeah, we have it here. I'm going to extract it. Okay, so extraction is complete. So yeah, it is come under this folder, but we don't want it here. I'll just rename this as Drupal. Okay, and now let us now we have we can go here under the Drupal directory. We have sites and under sites we have example.site.php and the default folder development or services or yml example.settings.local.php first of all i am going to create two folders here so first is my football club it's football clubs right just let me confirm Okay, let's search. Yeah, it's football club, not clubs. So I've created a folder here. I'll create another folder, which is wonders. Okay. So now what we need to do is we need to go to default and these two files we need to copy these two files to our the two folders okay so first I'm going to copy it to wonders then I'll copy it to football club okay so now we have these two files here we don't need the default prefix and here also I'm going to edit it oh not sorry I'm going to rename it at settings.php go one level up same with the wonders And 
sorry and the same with this file okay also we need to create a file here that will have an array okay for that we can see the example dot oh sorry we can edit this for creating or creating a uh, the sites we can see that the here is an array sites array and it is showing an example that that's how we are going to create our multi sites so let's go back to our directory here we need to create a file it should be named sites.php okay under sites uh, under sites we are going to edit it we are going to start the php tag and we are going to create an array named sites okay so under this we are going to add the two webs multi size the two folders the two subdomains that we just added so for that we are going to add the subdomains that is football club dot one suit dot com okay that will have the directory football club okay so same goes with the wonders folder and your wonders okay so let's save or oh, I'll close the tag Let's save changes. There is an error. Constant syntax error. Oh, sorry. Let's save changes. Okay, so we are done with this file. So now when we go back. I think now we are going to create two databases okay so let's go to our cpanel going to create two databases well one will be wonders and I'm going to create a user well we can name it Wonder Man. Oh. oh, I can name anything. And I'll create any password that I want. I'll just have a password generator with me. Or I can create that. Just quick and using. So let's create user. Let's give it all privileges. And the user has been added. Let's add another database. The new database will be football club. Okay. And the user will be manager. password we can create anything I'll close this uh, sorry let's give it all privileges and we're done here okay so now we are left with the 
uh, linking of the Drupal folder with the other two folders. So for that we are going to use the terminal for linking the SSH and uh, for that I am going to use putty. Yeah, I am in my server directory. I will go to my root directory. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So we can see I have Drupal, Football Club, and Wonders with me here. So to link it, I need link and symbolic uh, minus. Is this is the symbolic link property? Then uh, I'm going. Uh, then I'll type Drupal. And then wonders and the same with football club okay so let's go to wonders and see okay so now we have the drupal folder with us so for the uh, this is the linked folder drupal link folder but we need the uh, files that are inside this folder to be in the wonders folder not the whole directory but the content in the directory so for that i'm just i'm going to remove these two folders under the football club and then give these linking commands again that will create a folder and then paste and link the files in the drupal folder in those directories so for that i'll be using the remove rf minus rf then uh, wonders and similarly with football club okay so let's give the let's first check okay now we don't have these two folders now i'll just give that command again for football club and for wonders okay so we have these folders now you can see there is different colors because they are linked folders so let's enter the folders let's check the directory yeah so we have all the files with us here so we are done with this let's go and have open the open it up so wonders dot dot com Okay, we are here on the setup now for and similarly with football club dot dot com. Okay, now we are linked with these two, so we can set these up. Also, if you want to check if they are linked or not, we can see all the files here. Same files will be in the wonders folder. If I create a file, say test.txt, then it will new file will be created in Drupal folder, whereas I am in the Wonders folder. Let's create this file, and you can see the test.txt file in our Wonders folder. And when I go to Drupal folder, it also is there. Now, if I delete it from here. okay and now i go to the wonders folder the file is not there so we have it linked properly now let us set up our websites let's install these i'm going to install the football club and the wonders simultaneously Okay, oh, I forgot to improve the file size. I'll just take a moment and increase the file size. Well, to increase our PHP size, we need to go to multi PHP INI editor. Under this, we need to select our subdomain and scroll down. Here under memory limit, I'll just make it 64. I'll apply 
and it's a success. Next is the wonder. And I found it. Okay, it's 64 automatically. I don't know why. Let's apply. Okay, so let's go back. Let's retry. Retry this also. And that error is gone. Let's continue. Yeah, the trainer his name was Wunsch underscore ten. Oh, sorry, Wunsch ten underscore wonders. The trainer's name was like yeah, the same was. Password was yeah. Let's save and continue. Mm, underscore football club manager password ok let's save and continue mm, I forgot I think password is correct and the user was not warned well this is done I don't want that Let's check what was the username. MySQL databases. Well, for my database, I did create that database, right? I think it wasn't created. So let us create a database. Wonders. It is created. Let me check. Let's search for wonders. Yeah, it is. And the privileged user is what? I think the password would be wrong when I typed. Let's save. Okay, it's installing and yeah it, I typed the password wrong it's installing this also in the meantime let us look for our themes I'm going to use two different themes for the two websites let's go to build themes Let's search for our themes. Score compatibility would be 8.x and let's search. Okay, all these themes are really nice. Let's select this one for our wonders one. The Zymphony's theme. And let's select the Nexus theme for our football club. And they are taking a bit of time. I'm gonna pause this until the both of them are installed. Okay, so it's installed now. Site name would be Football Clubs. Site email, email address I can get anything. Sample.com Username, I'll keep as admin. Well, default country is India. Default time zone is Kolkata. Let's save and continue. And this also, side name is Wonders. Of the world, sorry, email address would be wonders at example 
Google.com. Okay, the username would be and same goes with India and Kolkata. Okay, so we are here. So first of all, let us install our theme. We can see that we both of these websites are have the same code base, the Drupal code base, the Drupal folder that we had in our file manager. This code base, this is the common code base for both of these websites. So let us go to appearance. I'm going to copy this Nexus theme, copy this address, and I'm going to install your theme. Same with this. Let's do it one by one, I think. I'll paste this Nexus theme and I'll copy the Symphonies theme. I'll copy this and install it here. Let's paste it. Okay, let's install new layer themes and install new layer themes. <coughs> install and set as default. And and we as we see, we have the same code base. So the themes, the, the themes directory will have both of these theme folders. But if we set as this as default in Wonders, only this theme will be used in the Wonders website. Uh, we can see Yeah, we can see the that the Symphony's theme is set for Wonders. And the Nexus theme Is set for football clubs. Although they both have the same code base, they have different themes. I'm just going to edit this. Uh, I don't. I didn't like the name as much. I'll keep it wonders only. That is better, I think. Let's save. Okay, let's go back to configuration. Now let us configure both of these sites and add content to both of these sites. Oh, sorry. Um, I'll remove the logo from the site. And yeah, I don't need a logo. So let us first configure the wonders file site so for the wonders of the world we are going to require uh, a content type that will have one image with the, and the body so let's go to content types and add content type i'm not going to use these i'm going to add a new one i'll keep it wonder Different wonders of the world. Well, promote to the front page. Published. I don't want to create new revision. Display author. And no, I don't want this. So let's save and manage, please. okay now we are in the fields now we just need to add a field we already have the body field I'll select the image field and label it as IMG well we will keep the same yeah, IMG will go so let's save and continue 
and I don't need a default I can pick many but I don't need right now let's save okay so this is save now and I don't know and want this and we can even choose the maximum minimum, minimum resolution but my images are in the same ratio I think so they'll be fine so let's manage display and body goes beneath the image and image is hidden let's save okay it is saved now let's go back to site okay so let us add some content well, yeah let's add the wonders content type first one would be uh, Taj Mahal. Well, I already have the text and images with me. Uh, the text is from Wikipedia and images are from Google. So, I have this text document telling us about. Uh, I have the seven wonders of the world here. So, I have got each a paragraph. I'm just going to copy and paste them. Okay. So let us choose a file and the files are under Wonders Taj Mahal. The images are from Google and the content, the text material is from Wikipedia. Let's save. Okay, so our Taj Mahal is created. Okay, uh, we need to configure this area and I will in a short time or uh, yeah I'll first create some content and then I will edit the website next would be Christ yeah I'll just oh sorry Oh, the image. Oh, yeah, the image doesn't matter. So I'll have to. <laughs> I'll have to edit this. This theme, I don't think that is too good. I'll have to change this theme. Oh, sorry. Edit this. And let's choose a file for an image. Okay, so let's save this. Okay, so let's add a content. I'm going to similarly create more of them. So I'll just pass over the video to pass up the process. Okay, so I have created seven nodes in the wonders of the world i'm going to change the theme for this i don't yeah you can select any of the themes well this one looks nice for an informative site it will require bootstrap i think uh it isn't here anything it's Extend uh, appearance. Install new theme. Uh, 
okay so let us install this okay let's go back to site I'm going to create a view for our for our uh, wonders of the world nodes yeah this one looks really pretty good uh, it needs some uh, styling though yeah it is a nice theme simple theme so first of all let us ex create a view we'll have a link for that view in the menu let's create add view the view name would be well wonders is already taken monuments content of type wonders we will create a page for this and this is fine and I'll create a menu link in the main navigation monuments or I would say wonders let's save okay so our view is created and we can see that our view is here I'll just save this okay so let's go back to site and I think the basic structure of this wonders.wonders.com is created so yeah let's just open one of the nodes and see yes it looks fine to me let's and it also has a link I'll remove this logo though and have a block up here I think that would look good performance accounts basic settings no sorry uh, I have to go to themes appearance and settings here okay so it tells it even gives us the option to set the colors I think this looks really good to me the color scheme or blue would also go with this main background well I think this one I will choose blue one yeah it looks good use pictures in posts yes yes no and let's save let's go back to side And it looks good to me we can change the name though you can have search bar we have tools well let's let what do the world everything you need to know Wonders. Seven wonders, and this looks good. Okay, so I think this site is created and is good to go. Yeah. So I'll create another site I'll create the football club site now so similarly I'm going to create a struct uh, content type and add content to it we 
we can see that the we can we are configuring our websites totally differently because and though it both of them have the same code base the same rough the same files they have the same files and they but they have two different databases so that's the multi the multi site feature of drupal act uh, and it is really good so this is football clubs a different football clubs i don't want to make my new navigation yeah we can change this let's save I'm going to do the same basic settings for this also. Let's select a field image and we can see that I can create the same machine name as I took one on the wonders of the world. See? So yeah, it's good. Don't require this. Let's save. So I'm just going to add some content, and by then I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so I've created the content five football clubs. So I'm just going to configure this slideshow. And then I think that uh, this football club site will also be ready. So let us go to settings and I'll remove the logo. Yeah, here is the slideshow of this theme. This theme provides us a bit with us with slideshow. Check this show breadcrumbs. Yeah, I will need breadcrumbs. Slide headline. Let's see. Barsa. Or Side description. I don't need a description. Your one is Barcelona, and this is the image. Side two is real. Okay. And I will not need this. I'll choose an image. Slide headline slide three will be adventures. Don't need this. And so our websites are ready. So we come we created two different websites. Okay, we can see that our slider is ready. We have our slider. If we create it. If we click on it, we will go to the C Barcelona page. So we saw this. We saw that we created two different websites: Wonders of the World uh, with seven different nodes and football clubs with five different nodes, completely different than the other website. But both of them have the same code base, the Drupal folder that is their code base. If we come in here, if we see themes, we'll have these three themes that we installed in there. So this is the group. This is Drupal's multi-site feature, and it is a very, very, very useful feature for for most of the people. So thank you.